Hi everyone, welcome back to our video series about the SELECT statement. In our previous videos, we talked about the SELECT, FROM, and WHERE clauses, along with accumulators. Today we'll be talking about the ACCUME clause and how to use accumulators within the ACCUME clause. If you haven't watched our previous video on accumulators, accumulators are basically special variables that store information about the graph during query runtime. The ACCUME clause is a very important step in every query. It enables sophisticated aggregation and computations across the set of vertices or edges selected by the preceding SELECT, FROM, and WHERE clauses. Logic defined in the ACCUME clause executes on each edge in parallel, allowing it to access all the source vertices, edges, and target vertices in the traversal instance. Accumulators that are updated in the ACCUME clause cannot be immediately accessed or seen until after the aggregation phase in the ACCUME clause. We included animations to demonstrate the flow of the ACCUME clause. In this example, we determined the age distribution of users that became friends within the 2018 calendar year. We'll be using a map accumulator, and for our key, we'll be using an integer value to represent age by decade. The value will be represented by a sum acume of the number of occurrences in which someone's age is within this given decade. When we run the query, the WHERE clause comes first to select only the edges that match the conditions we provided. We can see that only the first, second, and fourth edges satisfy the WHERE condition since we specify to only select users who became friends within the 2018 calendar year. Then the ACCUME clause executes, performing the accumulation tasks on each edge in parallel. In the ACCUME clause, we update the value of the map ACCUME since we have named age map. The key is the age of the target vertex divided by 10, and the value is 1. This effectively adds one count to the number of occurrences at each age decade. In the ACCUME clause, we can see the edges send a message, which in our case would be a key value pair, to the accumulator's bucket. The values remain in the bucket and the final value of the accumulator cannot be accessed until the ACCUME clause is complete. Then the data is aggregated and then finally, the data is stored into the accumulator and can be accessed. Here's what we covered in this slide. Each edge satisfying the from and where clause performs the ACCUME clause statements. The ACCUME clause has access to the source ver vertices, edges, and target vertices. In the ACCUME clause, vertices do not see each other's updates because updates are not processed until the aggregate step. The aggregate phase is done automatically after the ACCUME clause. After that, the updated accumulator value can be accessed. And finally, each accumulator is updated using the plus equals sign. Let's take a look at another example using a local accumulator. This time we're going to find the average age of a user's common friends. So we'll use the average accumulator as a local accumulator to take the average of all values being passed in. A local accumulator is defined using a single at symbol. I'll explain the query a bit since this is our first time seeing a two-hop query. First, we find all the friends of our input user and store them in a vertex set named friends1hop. Then we find all their friends and store them in a new vertex set named friends2hop. Now we can finally use our accume clause and our local accumulator to find the average ages. In this ACCUME clause, we are updating the target vertices average age accumulator value with the source vertex age attribute. In the ACCUME clause, a message is sent from all the edges to the target nodes, and the data is collected in each target nodes bucket. The final value of the accumulator cannot be seen until the ACCUME phase is complete. The data is then aggregated, and the value is stored in the local accumulator of each node and can finally be accessed. So to recap, we know that every update of a local accumulator cannot be seen during the ACCUME phase, only after the aggregation is done. And the messages that will be aggregated during the aggregate phase are based on each accumulator's type. In our next video, we'll be talking about the post-ACCUME clause, which comes after the ACCUME clause. Thank you for watching.